Hi, in this tiny tip, we're going to look at small multiples. So here I have a report. I'm looking at my customer sales by my customer classes. And I also have a filter for my country. And right now I'm looking at all of my sales by my customer class or grouping for the United States. And perhaps I also want to see the items that are sold in this. So I'm going to use a feature called small multiples. Now, as of the recording of this video, it's in preview. So you'll need to turn it on. And to turn it on, you'll go File, Option and Settings, Option. And when the Option window comes up, you'll choose Preview Features under Global. And make sure you have Smart Narrative Visual checked. Once you do, you'll notice that many of your visuals will have another option here in the fields pane for small multiples. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing I'm going to do is take the customer class and drag it down to the small multiple area. And now I have actually four visuals that are representing my data. Although that's not particularly helpful because the only thing on there is my customer class. I'm going to grab my item class code. This is how I group together my items by different categories. Now those four visuals have a lot more meaning. They share the access down below, so it's identical even if there's nothing in the space. But I can easily see some comparisons. Now let's do just a little bit of formatting to make this visual a little more meaningful. So what we're going to do with our visual selected is open up the format pane. And we're going to come down to Grid Layout and make a few changes. And this is where we can decide how many rows we want. You could see now I have uh, three rows listed here. I don't need that. I can increase the number of columns, making the visual smaller so I could see more on the page. But what I want to do is come down and turn on the grid lines. I like to turn on all the grid lines. And actually, let's even turn on the borders. This makes it stand out a lot more to me. So now it separates the visual so I could see them a little better. And I can increase the size of the line of the visual as well, and even the line style. So maybe I want to make it dashed or dotted. Whatever works to separate it out. I like the full solid line. And actually, my favorite is just the, all the grid lines without the border. So this is how grid lines work. Now, a new feature to April of this year is the ability to put on padding. So if you want to pad some of the areas, you certainly can. So with the padding features, we could come in and let's some, put some padding on the outer rows. So I'm going to increase the padding. And now you could see it's just a little bit smaller. I could do the same on the column. So you could just adjust how you want your visuals to be. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, let it be the default. But small multiples is something that can help you out a lot, so I encourage you to give it a try. Actually, let me come in and go back to the visual. I'm going to add in the line. So I'm now changing this to a, a line and cluster column chart. And now I have a line value as well. So I'm going to also get my quantity and put it in the line value. So now I could see the quantity of the item sold versus the sales amount. So I could see, for example, in this particular class for the retail, it looked like I was selling a, a high volume of products, but that were not very high in price. And then here I could see, it looks like I was selling higher priced items here. So you could learn a lot by using small multiples. I hope this tip helps.